people often say, how do you keep your personal and professional life in balance? I often say that service to humanity is man's greatest work in life. We get back in direct proportion to what we give to the universe. But you gotta give, give, give if you wanna get, get, get. That's the law. Um, I, I don't think it's possible. I think that work-life balance is a myth. And I often talk about the fact that I don't believe that it's a matter of balancing. I think it's a matter of blending. I think it's involving your family and those that you care about in your professional pursuits. And my kids are very, as a result, very entrepreneurial. My 12 year old has a business. My 20 year old has a business. I'm sure my seven year old will have a business at some point, but who cares, who knows? But the point is, is that they get to see me in the game. They get to see me pursue. And as a result, I think it's expanded their life and their mind and makes them think bigger and think about what's possible. And, um, you know, whenever you look at our lives, we, we travel, we, we spend time together, but there's times when I have to step away and make a phone call. There's times when the kids know, don't come in the office, I'm working. But there's also times when we play hard, you know, so we try to work hard, we try to play hard, and, and most of the time that stuff is blended together. It's not this, oh, I'm gonna make sure that I, you know, put in this much time over here and put in this much time over here. I will say something about what people talk about balance. If you're an entrepreneur and you're really pursuing big things, balance is almost impossible. You're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to hustle. You're gonna have to push. If it was easy, everybody would be successful, but it's not easy and so it takes extra effort. You have to have people that support you and buy into the vision. Um, I heard someone say years ago that we're the sum total of the five people we spend the most time with. If you think about that with your kids, with your staff, all of that is who are they hanging around if there's problems in their life look at who they're hanging around it's very likely influencing what they're like and so I learned years ago to get all the negative people out of my life and try to surround myself with people that support the vision vision buy into the vision so that's important um, that doesn't mean that you have a bunch of yes people you need to have people that are willing to tell you when you're wrong and you need advisors and people that can help you see around the corner I heard Jack Welch, I think it was talking about recently, that great CEOs have this innate ability to see around the corner. And part of that is what they do themselves. And part of it is what they leverage other people to help them see what they can't see. Get more content plus free bonuses and resources at jpmaroney.com slash VIP.